Hello and welcome to this coding lecture. Now we are going to use Claude via API and there are just a few steps. The first one is that you have to sign up for the console account. Then we are going to look how to generate the API keys and we need to explore the API reference to find the reference code as you can see it here at the right hand side for using it via Python and then we're going to test it. All right, let's get started. Okay, here we are on the page on entropic.com and you can see that Core 3 is now available and here is also the link to the API. We can just click on get started now and we are directly forwarded to the console. All right, and here on the console, we can just log in if we already have an account, I will just use social login via Google. All right, and here we are. Now we can click on get API keys. And I'm going to delete the other one. So we are at the same page. Now we can create our API key. Just click on it. Let's call it my Claude key. Click on create key. Then you can copy it. Then I'm going to set it up as an environment variable. So I just looked for the system properties and here on the environment variables I'm going to create a new one. I will just call it Claude underline API. And in here, I'm going to paste the value and save it. All right, now we have to find out how we can use it. So we can just go and head over to the docs. And in here in the docs, you can see the API reference. Now, in the API reference, here we have different client SDKs and here's the code for Python. Now, let's head over to VS Code and take this code. Okay, and here in the subfolder 110 miscellaneous, I'm going to create a new file. Let's call it Claude test.py. And in here we can paste the code from before. And you can see already, we need to install the package Entropic. And at first I need to activate the environment. And now we can install the package, pip install Entropic. Good, that should be covering the package. We can just test it and just load the package at first. And now we need to get our API key. For that, we are going to use OS because we are going to fetch it from the environment variables. And we can get that os get, and we call it Claude API. All right, that should be it. Now we can just run it and see if it's working. And this is the return. So, we have now set up our client, the submodule messages and create. We have passed the model. We are using here the largest one. Maybe we should, due to pricing, use another one like the sonnet model. Then we can also specify parameters like the maximum number of tokens. 
And then we are setting up a message, which is looking very much like the setup of OpenAI. So we define the role, we just use a user prompt, and the next key is corresponding to the content. And here we have hello Claude. And then from this message, we can extract the content. And we can even go deeper to just get the message message dot content at position zero dot text. So that would be it. This is already the response from Claude 3. Now we can play with it a bit more. We can define a bit more complicated questions like the one I showed on the slide set. You want to build a team of 11 players for soccer. I just want to define something which is really challenging the model. So let's say all players are animals. Which animals in the different positions yield the best performance in a tournament? Now let's see how it performs on that one. And here we are. So we see, while it's fun and creative idea to build a soccer team with animals, it's important to note that in reality, animals cannot play soccer in an organized manner. So let's maybe make it a bit nicer. Okay, that one is better readable. So it's coming up with the different positions for the goalkeeper, a gorilla, which is good. I ran it earlier. There I got an octopus, which is making more sense even. Then we have cheetahs, elephants, kangaroos, honey badger, okay, horses and dolphins. Yeah, interesting compilation and yeah, a fun way of challenging the model. Great, and now we have covered nearly everything. Now you know how to, how to connect Python with it and use it from some API level. If we head over again to the console, then you can just go to your account and check out the usage. And here on the usage page, you can see how much you have already used and it's separated into input tokens and output tokens. So it's really good for checking out how much you have used already. And then if the, yeah, the two requests I just ran before cost me four cents, if I want to make it cheaper, of course, I can use the different model. I can use Sonnet instead of Opus. And if that initial money, which was provided for free to me is not enough, then you can, of course, upgrade to other plans. Good. And that is what I wanted to show you on Entropics Claude. It's really promising. And I want to follow up on that one because it's providing very good results and it's playing really in the same ballpark as GPT-4. So yeah, I can just encourage you to check this out and keep it on your radar. It's making a very good first impression. Thanks a lot and see you in the next lecture.